He's going to announce. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Psalms 119, um, 121 through 128. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. And family, the word, the Hebrew word here um, is A-ni. A-ni. Um, yeah, A-ni. And A-ni means I. It is a silent letter. Um, it has everything to do with sight. Amen. Uh, it says, family, don't leave me to the mercy of my enemies, for I have done what is just and right. Please guarantee a blessing for me. Don't let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes strain to see your rescue, to see the truth of your promise fulfilled. I am your servant. Deal with me in unfailing love and teach me your decrees. 125. Give discernment to me, your servant, then I will understand your laws. Lord, it is time for you to act. For, though, for these evil people have violated your instructions. Truly, I love your commands more than gold, even the finest gold. Each of your commandments is right. That is why I hate every false way. Now, this is the word of God for the people of God. And family, our sermonic prayer for us, I will read it out loud, and you can say it to yourself silently. Lord, prepare our hearts to receive your word and prepare our spiritual hearing to hear your word. And Lord, help us to move from illumination to transformation to application. Family, for our time that it is ours to share together, I want to preach from the subject, our survival kit, our survival kit. Team Amen. Jones, I find survival kits very interesting. Um, I had to look on Amazon and it is amazing how many survival kits that they sell on Amazon. Virginia, it's all sorts of things in survival kits. They have survival kits for everything and they have survival kits for one person all the way up to a large group of people. Survival kits family have an interesting history. Um, for most of human evolution, uh, people had to persevere through seemingly unsurmountable conditions. In centuries past, family survival kits and essential supplies were transported on ships and horse-drawn wagons. Y'all remember those Westerns where they loaded up the wagons? They had all sorts of things, barrels and all sorts of things in this wagon. That was their survival kit as they traveled across the country, deserts and all sorts of conditions in which they had to face. Nowadays, it's, it's kind of hard to endure family those types of survival kits. Thank God that now we have moved from um, wagons and ships and all of that. Now we can carry um, our survival kits in backpacks mm. and allow us to have these survival kits um, in backpacks and all sorts of ways. And family, here it is. Um, we have survived what we have survived in our lives because of a spiritual survival kit. Mm. Yes, God has given us, you all, a survival kit. And Ernie, that is why we can look back over our lives and say that we survived because of a survival kit. And this survival kit has allowed us um, to make it through some insurmountable trials and tribulations, allow us to make it through the assaults and the oppressions of life because we have a spiritual survival kit. Family, mm -hmm. in our text before us, um, the psalmist, you all, I love him because he's being real and raw. I know we get tired of him talking about his enemies and oppression and all of that, but we have to appreciate it because uh, he's being real. And he is letting everybody know, I got issues, I got problems, I got situations, I got something that's getting on my nerves, family. Mm -hmm. 
We need to be just like this psalmist and not so quick to wash away what we're going through, but be able to put a voice to it and say that I'm going through some situations. I'm going through some agonizing things, but I have something within me um, to survive it. And that is my survival kit. Amen. Amen. Family, how many of us can we be honest right here this afternoon and say, Pastor, you sure enough right? I got more problems than I got doors in my house. I got more problems than I got windows. I got more problems than anything. And I put a voice to it. But I choose not to stay there because I have the survival kit to help me through it. Family, um, the psalmist, you have to love him because throughout the psalms, we find him having issues back and forth with these people that was getting on his nerves. Virginia, I wanted to jump into the text and say, who are these jokers? Let's go get them because I'm sick of them for you. For You You know what? Um, these people was getting on my nerves. They was getting on my nerves just by me reading the text. I couldn't have only imagine what they were doing to him at this time. But the psalmist is letting us know, family, that even though he have a love for the word of God, he still is letting us know that I'm not exempt from problems, from aggravation, and from irritations of life. Yes, yes, yes. Family, we, we have to appreciate the word of God letting us peek in to see that these human people had human problems. They were not exempt from anything uh, just because uh, they knew who the Lord was. Yeah. Family, yeah. It, it, here it is. My first point I want to lift to us in the survival kit, Team Jones, he's telling us that the Lord is my sustainer. Mm. The Lord is my sustainer. Verse 121, he says, don't leave me to the mercy of my enemies, for I have done what is just and uh, right. Y'all see this? The psalmist is appealing to God. Um, Deacon Dale, it, it's like he's walking into a courtroom and he's being a witness speaking to God. The psalmist's accusers and his oppressors are throwing accusations at him one after another. And watch this, family. And he is not giving in to this. His oppressors and his accusers, they don't see any good in him and they despise him and everything he stands for, they despise. Yeah. Family, his enemies have gained everything that they have through deceit. They defame and they cheated to obtain their position. All right, all right. Family, here it is. The psalmist is saying in so many words, listen, Lord, um, don't leave me to the mercy of my enemies. Please do not let my enemies get the best of me. Lord, I have been just and right. Notice, family, he comes before God. He doesn't say I'm perfect, but what he says, I'm just and right. What he is saying is that I have lived up to your standards, Lord, to the best of my ability. And I'm asking of you, can you sustain me, hallelujah, from the hand of my enemies? Lord, it is getting hard on me and I'm trying not to snap out. Lord, I need you to sustain me. How many witnesses I have on the side of my voice? Lord, I need you to sustain me. Family, um, throughout the scriptures, we see that um, human justice is flawed, is fallen, mm -hmm. and it belongs to a society at war with God. Mm. The psalmist's conscience is clear as he comes before God, and he's saying, Lord, I haven't done anything but being just and right. Family, I got something to make you holler in your house. Put this in your mailbox and um, open it up so you can holler some more later. God is described as one who sustain all things. Mm. He sustains all things. Now, I know for us, we may say, well, Pastor, you still talking about sustaining and God being a, sustain, a sustainer and, and all of that. Can you define that for me? 
Here it is. I, I know I, I'm, I'm preaching to some educated people. And listen, I brought my education in my backpack. Here it is. To sustain something or someone means to give it strength, protection, encouragement, and comfort. Mm. God's sustainment mm, is a holding together with a power that supersedes any other human power. Mm. Family, when we accepted the free gift of salvation through Jesus Christ, we became children of God adopted into his family, according to Romans 8 and 15. God sustains us through difficult times. How many of us can say hallelujah right there? Um, we some witnesses of that right here, that God will sustain us through difficult times. Psalms 54 and 4 says, surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. He strengthens you all. He protects, he encourages, and he comforts. Our strength will eventually fade and fail us. And God is the only one who can show up with some strength for us to endure. Mm. Mm -hmm. Family, um, I brought some Bible with us because, uh, you know, the Bible makes us happy around here at Sinai. Uh, Psalms Amen. 18, 39. It says, you arm me with strength for battle and you humble my adversaries before me. Mm. Family, can I tell you all something? Lean in close. We are finite beings. We are flawed. Um, and listen, family, we will come to a point where we will arrive in life. Sometimes you are on E mm. and it feels like we can't go nay another further. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I use some country grammar, didn't I? Yes, I did. We can't go nay another further because we don't have any strength or energy left. And soon as we pull over, God comes along, y'all, and he comes with some strength and he'll pour it in our tanks and we keep putt putting along just to get to our next destination. Amen. Family. God will give us strength when our strength run out and our strength and our energy will run out. Amen. Psalms 91 through 2. Lord, you have been our dwelling place. Good God of right. Through all generations before the mountains were born or you brought forth the whole world from everlasting to everlasting. You are God. Y'all, that's some good news right there. Oh, God is without limit. Oh, God is limitless. Y'all, oh, he's infinite. That means you all, he has strength without end. Woo! Can I put this right here? I'm hollering on my first point. I ain't even got to the rest of them yet. He never runs out of anything. All right. Amen, Pastor. Family, <laughs> God has everything uh, that we need. The psalmist had a dependence on God. And family, when I look at this hymn book called Psalms, there was some other psalmists that wanted to jump in this conversation. Um, Diggy King, they said, listen, we want to get in this too because this is some good gumbo and it's cooking real good. Come on, jump on in. Here it is. Many psalmists express their dependence on God. They express a need for God to sustain them in often times of weariness and distress. Y'all remember King David, don't you? Yeah, the man after God's own heart. He wrote in Psalm 63 and 1, um, David writes of his enemy trying to kill him in a dry and parched land where there's no water. And listen, he finds himself talking to the Lord, saying, Lord, I need you to sustain me. And watch what David says. I cling to you and your right hand yes. upholds me. Oh, y'all. Look, the psalmist keeps on talking. Can I, can I walk through this Bible for y'all? Psalms 18 and 35. You make your saving help my shield. Your right hand sustains me. Your help has made me great. Psalms 41, 11 through 12. I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. 
Because of my integrity, you uphold me and set me in your presence forever. Can I keep on talking about this Bible? Psalms 89 and 21, my hand will sustain him. Surely my arm will strengthen him. Family, when we try to gain strength from the things in this world, can I help you? You're going to be sadly disappointed. Because these things in the world cannot give us strength. They only give us a temporary fixation of strength, and it will run out on you and leave us weary and emptier than when we first started. Can I, can I give you all this? Lean in close. Nothing created can sustain itself. Mm. <laughs> can I say that again? That sounds pretty good to me. Nothing created can sustain itself mm -mm. only the creator can do that colossians 1 and 17 in christ all things hold together mm. family i'm just encouraging y'all today on my first point listen when we feel like we're falling apart and we have nothing left to give we must turn to the only source of unending, sustaining strength. Family, I'm going to say it again because redundancy has its reward. God is our sustainer, and he wants to come to help you out. Mm. Listen, the Lord is saying to all of us on this Zoom worship right here, I'm coming to give you some help. Y'all, listen, can I bless y'all right here? Help is on the way. Mm, yeah. I right, listen, y'all about to open the door, open the window, and get ready to shout because help, hallelujah, is on the way. Can I say it again? Because that is stirred around in my soul. Help is on the way. Oh, I feel it. Can I holler one more time? Help is on the way. Right, yeah. that wasn't on my notes but that's a good place to put it I'm going to holler again because that feels good to me help is on the way mm, family how many y'all could shout right here in your virtual sanctuary because that's some good news to put in your mailbox help is on the way yeah. mm. amen and can you just speak it by faith help is already here <laughs> Help! I can't see it. I don't know how it's going to fall, but listen with my faith. I, I see it. 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 Mm. Family. Yeah. Not only yeah. does God sustain us as individuals in times of distress, but Lady Q, here goes some more shout. The one who sustains us sustains the universe. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> he, he sustains the universe so that means whatever I'm going through I can go to God with it and he will sustain me while I'm going through it and take me out of it and watch this even while I'm going through it he's sustaining me while I'm going through it <laughs> look God will allow us to keep our, uh, our uh, sanity God and listen family in our situation Mm, y'all, yeah. how many of y'all can say, Lord, thank you. I'm not going insane in the in-brain in um, while um, I'm going through my issue. Mm, y'all, listen, there are some people who are went nuts uh, with what they're going through. And look at you. Just look at you. Look at you. Look how you're looking. You have survived it because of God's sustaining power. Mm. Amen. Ooh, I feel preaching on me today, y'all. The same God who keeps the planets aligned is the same God that will keep you aligned. Yes. All right. mm. Okay. okay. Um, when life is too much for us to take, can I put some more hope in your mailbox? Your mailbox is big enough for it. Trust in the Lord's sustaining power. Right. Amen. Family, I know you may be, you, you, you may not just say it out loud because you may bust out in tears, but I'm talking to some people who are going through some stuff right now. That if we, That's if right. you were to tell us, we were busting tears right with you. 
But here it is. I got some hope for you. I'm giving y'all an overdose of hope today. Y'all about to might well just take it. You're going to get through it. Mm. Yeah. you go. going listen. You survive much worse than this. <laughs> but look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look how you're looking. Yeah. yeah. It's all because of God's sustaining power. Mm. Yeah. Family, um, I'm, I'm trying to give us our survival kit um, so we can survive our situations and issues and, and problems and all that. The Lord is our sustainer. But watch this, y'all. I love this. Here go another word for us. The Lord is our surety. The Lord is our surety. And I can, can, I put, can I spell it for you? I love the spell. I'm in the spelling bee. Y'all want to join my spelling bee? Here it is. S U R E T Y. Surety. Yeah. Verse, okay. verse uh, 122. Please guarantee a blessing for me and don't let the arrogant oppress me. Mm. The psalmist family is like in the case with Hezekiah. He's oppressed and therefore desires. Um, the Lord to be the undertaking for him. And Lord, I need you to appear by my side and defend me. Family, God himself is the surety of us all. And watch this, family. Can I give you all some good news? He will engage in our battles on our behalf. And there is no need to fear the enemy. <laughs> y'all, can I help y'all? God is saying, move on and let me in this ring because you've been beat up a little too long. Let me get up in here and fight for you. Because, yeah, you did the very best you could. Um, listen, it's about to be a TKO. Let me get out of the way, Lord. And you go ahead, knock him clean out. I want you to knock the enemy out. I'm sick of him. How many of y'all sick of the enemy? How, come on. Come on, confession is good for the soul. How many of us is sick of the enemy? I'm tired of the devil. Yes, I'm, I'm tired of that bald head booger bear. I got to call him out his name because he deserve it. <laughs> Family, um, listen, God is our surety. And that, that lets us know, family, that he is going to take on on what we cannot take on for ourselves. Yes, yes. Mm. When we draw nigh to God and put our hand with him, watch this, Deacon Darrell, he gives us his word and bond to pay the debts that we cannot pay. Can I put this in your survival kit? The Lord has already paid for what we couldn't even pay for. Mm. Amen. I mean, the witnesses I got right now on the side of my voice that you got something written across your heart called paid in full. Amen. Amen. The Lord Jesus wrote paid in full across our hearts in blood. Yeah, he sure did. Yo, the Lord said, I will be the surety. I, I'll be the one that will step up and we'll tell you, I will pay the legal fees. God almighty. I will pay, listen, I'll pay the legal fees. I'm going to pay the bond. I'm going to get you out of jail. And all you got to do is worship me and praise me for the rest of your life. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, Jesus is saying, I'm your surety. <laughs> the psalmist is saying, Lord, I need, listen, I need you to guarantee. I, I need you to be my guarantor. I need you to be my surety that you're going to pass these promises along to me and allow these promises to be fulfilled. Right. Mm. God is saying, I am going to be responsible for bringing every promise I made to you to pass. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Family, God is giving us this guarantee that whatever promise he made, he's going to fulfill every promise. Ooh. Y'all, yeah, God is yeah. saying, by being our surety, he got some more hope in your mailbox. I told y'all mailbox is big enough to hold it. He brings in 
everlasting righteousness for our justification and he preserves us and keeps us and brings us safe to eternal glory and joy. And watch this, y'all. That is because he is our surety. All right. Mm, y'all, he took care of the legal fees. And while he took care of the legal fees, you all, we walked out of court guilty as all outdoors. But we went to the clerk's office and she tried to pull the record and they couldn't pull the record because it's been expunged. <laughs> Wait a minute. I would guarantee her. The Lord is our surety. He came along, Ernie, yeah. and he wiped away the record. Mm. And listen, family, don't let the devil or anybody bring up your past charges. You've been clear. Yeah. Mm. yeah, clear. Even though we did it. Hallelujah. Even though we was at the scene of the crime. And Lady Q, we brought some company. <laughs> you know, yeah, we, we couldn't commit a crime by ourselves. It ain't fun if we do it by ourselves. We got to bring some other people in this thing, too. And we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. But the Lord said, no, you didn't. <laughs> because I took care of the record. And not only did I take care of the record, but I have opened up heaven's doors for you to walk on in. Hello. <laughs> what? Yes, I did that. Uh-oh, I know y'all going to holler because y'all good Baptist folks. Uh, the surety you all was the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, I love this book. I love it. I love it. <gasps> the Lord is our sustainer. The Lord is our surety. Watch this, y'all. The Lord is our superintendent. <laughs> ah, woo! 123 to 125. Y'all ready for this? My eyes strain to see your rescue, to see the truth of your promise fulfilled. I'm your servant. Deal with me in unfailing love and teach me your decrees. Give me discernment. Give discernment to me, your servant. Then I will understand the your laws. Oh, y'all, the Lord is our superintendent. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all a whole lot of vocabularies because I got to teach it before I preach it. Here it is. A superintendent is one who directs, manages, and oversees. That should make you holler right there. The Lord is the one who directs, he manages, and he oversees. What's this, y'all? The psalmist is oppressed. In fact, um, he used this term three times in this Mount Everest of Scripture. He uses it in verse 121, 122, and he's going to use it in 134. He said, deliver me from the oppression of men. You all, he is saying, Lord, I'm sitting here waiting and wishing for the salvation of the Lord. Now, when you see salvation here, he's not talking about being saved. No, he's talking about the provision of the Lord coming through for him. Family, his eyes are straining. It's coming so slow, mama, and so slow that his eyes are failing. Family, um, I don't mean to be nosed, but I really do. How many of us been like the psalmist? Waiting on God. I mean, we looking for him. like, Lord, <laughs> I'm sure enough waiting. I mean, you don't pull up your rocking chair oh. and you sitting there just a rocking and waiting, rocking it. Lord, I need you to come on through. Things ain't looking like they should be looking. I need for you to come on through. <laughs> Lord, I've been crying. A little too long. I keep looking for the answers, and uh, they don't seem to not be coming quick enough. And family, the Lord told me to tell y'all, stop treating me like a microwave and wait. <laughs> stop treating me like a microwave and wait. Listen, stop pushing the buttons. It ain't gonna get hot fast enough for you. Listen, just chill and settle down and wait for me 
Mm. Family, I told y'all, um, I'm finna be nosy again. I really mean to. Do you ever feel like that with the um, like the psalmist felt? Come on, let's be honest on this afternoon. Uh, yeah, I know you do. Like, Lord, um, I need this microwave blessed. I need you to come on, hurry up. I don't need this crock pot um, <laughs> blessed right now. I need a microwave. <laughs> I need, Lord, I need you to come quicker than right now. You hear me? Um, have you been there, family, when you cry to the God to work on your behalf, and it seems like Dick and Daryl that he went on vacation? And it seems like he in the far country just chilling, <laughs> just watching us go through what we go through. Mm. But family, can I give you some, some hope right here that he will come through in due season? That's right. Mm. He will come through when it is time for him to come through. Yes. yes. Amen. I know we're going through what we're going through. I know it seems hard. I know we just about to snap, crackle, and pop. But can I give you something right here? Mm. Just wait on the Lord. Yes. Mm. Can I give you all that again? Just wait on the Lord. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Family? He doesn't always prevent us from going through things, but he always have a good reason for allowing it to happen. Mm. Can I say it again? He doesn't always prevent us from going through what we're going through, but he always have a good reason for allowing it to happen. Mm. He is our superintendent. Y'all, he directs us. He manages us. He's watching over us. You are he over he's overseeing everything that we're going through. Family, listen, God's eyes ain't closed. He'll see where you at. He hears you. I know you hollering at him. You hollering at him like he wearing the hearing aid. He like, listen, you can tone down your voice. I hear you and I see you. And I will come get you when I come. And when I come, you're gonna appreciate that I came. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah y'all. He, he is helping us to handle the problems of life, um, Dick and Daryl, when he causes us to wait. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's one yeah. thing that we don't like to do because we got a wait problem. And that is waiting. But family, I tell you all this, waiting is worth it. Mm. Hey, family. Not only is the Lord our sustainer, not only is the Lord our surety, not only the Lord is our superintendent, but can I give y'all a churchy word that's going to make y'all holler in y'all house? The Lord is sovereign. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I see. I, I, love, I love church participation. The Lord yes. is sovereign. Ooh, that word, all oh, y'all, in the suburb of my soul, that feels good. The Lord is sovereign. Mm. Yes, he is. Um, verses 126 through 128. Mm. He said, Lord, it is time for you to act. For these evil people have violated your instructions. <laughs> Y'all hear this conversation you got with God. <laughs> Truly, I love your commands more than gold, even the finest gold. Each of your commandments is right. That is why I hate every false way yeah. family the lord is sovereign watch this um because i know sometimes we want the lord to work immediately and make things right right now but he is sovereign in his planning and in his timing and it's not like ours can i give you right here i know y'all heard this before god don't wear a watch Mm -mm. Yes, he don't wear a watch because he operates in time because he created time. Mm. Yeah. Family, he's sovereign. He said, I'm sovereign. I can do whatever I want to do. <laughs> and watch the psalmist. He's been a realist. We, we like the psalmist. Lord, I need you to get some hurry up about yourself. <laughs> I, need you to, I need you to come on through. Lord, it's time for you to act. 
I looked at this man and I said, oh, the nerve of the psalmist. And then I had to check myself the nerve of me because I have told the Lord, Lord, I need you to come out. It's time for you to act as if God didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. is sovereign. He said, I'm going to take my time. When I get there, I'll be on time. Ooh, the, that wasn't that wasn't on my notes, but it's a good place to put it. I'm gonna take my time. And then when I get in time, I'll be on time. <laughs> yeah, because I am sovereign. Family, yeah. faith and patience go together. Mm. Mm. Faith and patience goes together. Mm. Can I put this right here? And this y'all may run through y'all house. If y'all run through y'all house and come back to the camera, I understand. God's delays are not God's denials. Amen. Oh, can I say that again? Because that felt good. God's delays are not God's denials. Okay, here it is. Um, the Lord is sovereign. Sinai family, put this in your knapsack and care which. One day, the truth will be revealed. Sin will be judged. But in the meantime, rather complain about what we don't have or what we do have, let us rejoice in the wealth that's in God's word and in God being sovereign. Mm. Mm -hmm. This wealth that is given to us through the word of God is something that will never lose value. This wealth is something that man's hands cannot take from us. Amen. You all, it is the sovereign God who is giving us the wealth of himself through the word of God. Mm -hmm. God is sovereign. Family, we can rely on scriptures and we can rely on God. Mm. We can find guidance in his word, because his precepts, his laws, all these words that the psalmist used for the word of God, everything is right. And family, he's dealing with us through his unfailing love. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Can I put this right here, family? God's love never fails. Mm. He keeps on loving us even when... <laughs> Um, we're not at the time the most loving. Mm -hmm. He still loves us. Family, when we love the word of God, here go that word hate again. We will hate the wrong paths of sinners and stay mm -hmm. away from that path. Proverbs 1 and 15 says that we do not even step on the path of the wicked. Mm -hmm. So, family, this survival kit that we have been given, I hear Lady Q and I hear Virginia like, Pastor, you packed this, this, this survival kit. You packed it real good for us today, and we got a whole lot to carry. So here it is, family. Um, just in case you don't want to pack the whole thing, um, there is some instructions, right, on a survival kit that lets you know the contents that's within it before you even open it. So I'm going to give you all the contents that's there. Uh -huh. So that you can read it. Um, and then if you get real happy, you can open it. And guess what, family? When we open our survival kits, God comes along and replenishes what we have taken out of it. <clears throat> our survival kit will never run out. Here it is, family. God is saying, I'm going to sustain you. Mm -hmm. That's the content. That, that's the first part of the content. And then he comes along. He tells us that I'm going to be your superintendent. In so many words, I see what you're going through. I'm not turning a blind eye to it. I see everything that you're going through. And why says I hear everything <laughs> that you're going through. I'm your superintendent. I'm, I'm the one. I'm going to oversee all of this. Um, so while you're going through, never fret. I'm going to be right here for you. And uh, watch this, family. If you're not careful, if you keep running, you're going to bump into him. <laughs> ah! Because he is our superintendent. Oh, that's the second part of the contest. Here's the third part of the contest. The Lord is sovereign. 
Mm, yeah. And watch this, family. Not only is the Lord sovereign, um, he controls everything. And then he is our surety. He's our surety, you all. He, he's our surety. He's our guarantor. He's going to take care of everything that pertains to us. So, family, you have a survival kit. Yeah, in God and in his word. Yes. And so, family, how many of you all could shout in your house and praise God right here? Come on, let's have a praise break for the survival Amen. kit that God has given us. Amen. Family, Amen. can I put this right here? I want to encourage y'all um, because the Lord put in my spirit um, while I was preparing that they need some encouragement. I said, oh, Amen. and family, I don't mean to sound spooky, <laughs> but um, I heard in my spirit, um, I need for you, Pastor T, to encourage the people because there are some things that they're going through. They've been talking to me about. And you need to give them this survival kit and let them know that everything is going to be all right. Yes. You yes. may not see how things are going to unfold. You may not see how things are going to just doors going to open and all of that. But can I just give you all this dose of hope on today? I feel it. If I run away, I'll be back. Everything. Is going to be all right. All right. And family, I know I said so many times, but it bears to be true that everything is going to be all right. I know you may say, well, pastor, I'm just going through. I got pains. I got aches. I got all types of family situations. I got to pay bills. I got to do all these things. But listen, everything all is right. going to be all right. And listen, you better use your survival kit. I mean, you better crack it open and sit there and get your best tea, get your best coffee and cross your legs and encourage yourself in the Lord and say everything. Hallelujah. I feel it, y'all. Everything is going to be all right. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you need to just declare that in your house. You need to write that everywhere that you can. Even put it in the car on the starting wheel. Put it somewhere where you can look at it constantly. Everything is going to be all right because the Lord has equipped me with a survival kit through his word and he has given me himself. So everything, yes, is going to be all right. All right. Yes, yeah. it can rise. Yes, be encouraged. No matter what's going on, everything. Yes, yes, yes. 